And bendazole is an anti-parasitic medicine. It's been used in the veterinary world for a long time. It's effective against a wide array of infections, such as worms, and it does, in fact, work. Fenbendazole works by interfering with the parasite's ability to absorb nutrients. If they can't eat food and absorb food, they won't be around very long. In fact, it's so effective, it's sometimes put in the food of a variety of animals, including rodents, dogs, horses, and cattle, too. So that sounds great, but what about humans? Does finbindazole actually remove parasites from humans? So there are medications in the same family of medicines as finbindazole that actually have been approved in humans to be anti-parasitic medications. For example, if you've been researching this, you've probably heard of a medication called albindazole. But what about finbendazole itself? So I looked into this. I searched the medical literature for research on finbendazole clearing parasites from humans. And unfortunately, I didn't find any human clinical trials that actually have even looked at this. So that's important for you to know, because if you're trying finbendazole for a parasitic infection that you have, you're essentially right now flying blind. There is no research on dosages that's appropriate or how long you should be taking it, if it even does work, and what are the long-term side effects of finbendazole in humans. That's also something we just don't know. Now, lack of evidence does not necessarily mean that finbendazole is not a human antiparasitic medication, but what it does mean is that if you're trying this for yourself, you are the experiment.